Willie Sweeney. So they are the ones who broke your legs. No, I'd never seen the original. Um, it was a little bit before my time, but I also have done projects in the past that have been, you know, modern day versions or different interpretations of books, for example. And I've always gone to the book rather than the interpretation. Um, and, and I don't mean you said that. And it that wasn't earlier. a book, so we. And it wasn't a book, so, so I had we started to go from on. scratch. Yeah. yeah, it's an entirely different film. Well, no, you're right. It is different right. characters. You're just you're entirely new for starters. Yeah, aren't you? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it felt like we uh, we could create it from scratch. Put your trousers on your knees. We haven't actually said this to anyone yet, but quite an important distinction is it's set now. This isn't a period film we've made set in the 70s. It's got a, it's got a, you know, a touch of life on Mars about it. I, they won't mind me saying that, I don't think, without the time travel. So you have a, a sort of unreconstructed dinosaur working now who, who still thinks it's 1975, it, essentially, is mm. where the sort of conflict comes from, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Boy. Remember who runs this unit, Jack, all right? Yeah, well, you know how we go to work, don't we? Yeah, who put it all together in the first place? Who keeps the walls from your door? Yeah, all right. Well done, kid. It was a brilliant ensemble. It, it was fantastic, and it's, it's absolutely the reason why I wanted to be involved in it in the first place. And I had met Damien before, but never had a chance to work with him. We didn't ever... We didn't see each other much, did we? had a look. We had, like, yeah, we a, had a, an look. We had a little we had a tap of the head, but that was it. We shared sushi. We, we, we shared, yes. We shared sushi. Yeah, that's, that, <laughs> that's, that's not a say. euphemism for anything. <laughs> we just, we, we did have lunch together once or twice. <laughs> She's one of the gang, and I think she's good at her job, and uh, she's she's tough. One of the guys, but also is um, she's having this this affair with with Regan, and she's married to Internal Affairs, and therein lies the conflict in that love triangle there, which is gets very messy and complicated. You're playing with a straight bat, aren't you, Jack? What? Reassure me that Lewis and his boys have got nothing on you. Nothing that can come back and haunt us. I think probably Haskins and, and Regan set the flying squad up, you know, as a special unit, went to the superiors, up above, we've got this great idea, give us a bit of money and let's do it. So they never have enough money because no one's ever funded well enough. He does his job. Haskins doesn't ask too many questions. He's sort of like the maitre d', he's the guy at the front of the restaurant mm. trying to keep people happy. And so he's a bit of a politician, um, slightly less sexy role than this lot running around on the street. Um, but it was, but it was fun. He's really got on your skin, isn't he? He's a very dangerous man. <laughs> he has killed and he will kill again. But just, just fun being in the Sweeney. A lot of fun, you know, men with guns. It's, it's gonna, you're gonna have a lot of testosterone, but uh, people having a great time. <laughs> One thing you didn't take into account. Oh, Miss Sweeney. 